All right, so multiple TikTokers are claiming, this is a thing that's happening, they're claiming they're being randomly punched in the face in broad daylight in New York City. Wow. New York City has become a dangerous place, people are saying. I'm not a put. Maddie Jester Skulls, by the way, and I love Maddie, still a good friend, but he still rants on and on and on on social media about the dangers of New York City. There'll be a shooting, and then he'll go to social media, he's like, what'd I tell you? New York City. I was like, there's shootings every, every day every in New York day. City, yeah. in every major city, yeah, yeah, and yeah. in the suburb. If I live my life based off the fact that there's a shooting in a city and I'm not going to fucking go there, that's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. New York we City. You have to stop going to schools. To raise a child in New York City, I think it's a little crazy at this point. Like, I, I don't want to raise my son here. It's, there's, it's just, it's, you come here to fucking grind it out, to live the dream, to figure out whatever the fuck you're going to do. And it's such a tough environment. You're paying five thousand dollars a month in rent for a shitty apartment. You got five roommates. That you know, there's there's literally homeless people all over the streets. There's weird smells in the air. Garbage is piled in nice neighborhoods. There's garbage piled up in front of the buildings. Oh yeah, it's crazy. But it's this elite city where you come to get great. At whatever you're gonna do, if you want to be a fuck guy on Wall Street in finance, if you want to be an actor, a comedian, a dancer, whatever it is, you come here and that shit actually that pressure makes diamonds, right? That's why that's they, they part have of that. the dues. That's part of it, you know. The rats and, are part of the but dues. But my kid, I don't got. To get, my kid doesn't got to pay his dues in his formative years. He's eight. He doesn't have to watch homeless people stabbing each other to f- get to elementary school. Yeah. It's unnecessary, in my opinion. So I do agree. With and we that. don't live in the New York that we were in ten years ago. I think post pandemic, we're looking at a New York that's closer to like seventies, eighties New York. And but it was great. I, when, they, when, I heard, when I heard about them shooting up heroin in the bus station, I was like, yeah, we back. Yeah, <laughs> everybody was linked out in front right around pandemic. You could see motherfuckers just linked out. Well, in front well of you saw Street. a lot of these people would leave to comics. Like you saw a lot of comics. You just hear about some comic, and she's like, she's like, yeah, I'm living in uh, uh, horse shit. Uh, we <laughs> was all doing comedy on rooftops. Yes, getting heckled by the train. But it was good. It, it, it thinned out the herd in a lot yeah. of ways. A lot of the you saw a lot of people got successful during the pandemic. I got I literally started gaining some success. During the pandemic, with podcasting, streaming, even with stand up, I was still out there touring and doing my thing where I could do it. And yeah. a lot of people took the excuse to not have to grind. It's like Chappelle said, yeah. it, it, it exposed who had a brittle spirit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nah, that, that, there was a time. lot, there's a lot of people you, you hear somebody who's like, Yeah, I moved to Albany I to live, wait with, to get to live with to my York. parents. He was like, well, You're living in Albany now? You never came back? You know, it's true. Be honest with you, I was at my mom's house during the whole thing, just, you know, watching over the house clean up, just, just making them sure they was great. And then Michael Che puts a picture up of him on the back of a truck telling jokes in a parking lot, and it was full. I was like, I got to go back to New York City. You got to go back. And I ran right back the week after. I was like, yeah, all right. Well, I'll figure it out. If they figured it out, I can. We had to just take you. I mean, look, everyone took a moment to be like, whoa, you know, like, what's going on here? But the second, there was the comics that immediately said, no, no, we got to figure out how to tell fucking jokes. And it's dumb. I get it for some people. Shout out to Rebecca Trent. Rebecca was incredible yeah, during she, the pandemic. She whipped that shit up. Of yeah. course. And there was comics that you could tell just were like, dude, we got to get back up there. And then there were some comics that were like, they were just like weak-spirited little bitches. And then they were like judging other comics yeah. for performing. But it, they were just pretending that they were a part of something. Dude, it all just, it all just sucks. It all just fucking really sucks. Um, but the what's going on in New York, I, I do think that it is definitely a more you know, dangerous place than it used to be maybe 10 years ago. But there's something about like TikTok and social media culture that every time I hear a story like this, uh, I just don't buy it. I'm like, did somebody really punch yeah, these yeah. bitches? Did somebody Even really punch? Like, you know, how, many, how many fucking hot TikTok bitches are being punched in the face? Punched in the face. It happens once in a while. I understand. Yeah. Yes, it. De- but in a week... It's yeah. a trend now, and it's not coming. Do you think the trend is coming from random homeless people? Yeah. It's not coming from you guys wanting yeah, yeah. attention? I don't buy it. I don't yeah. buy when people say they're autistic now, when people say they're fucking blind, anything. I'm like, which, what's your fucking angle, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. That's right. I don't believe it's kinda, it. Yeah, it does lend it. Shannon, let me see some of these videos. Okay, so there's four, four. four different chicks. Yeah. I'll start with four? this one. Oh, she got clocked. Oh, she does have a... Oh, shit, she got a dodie on she her She got a hot. shiner. Really, like... Leaving class, I turned the corner, and I was looking down, and I was looking at my phone, and like texting, and then out of nowhere, this man just came up and hit me in the face. I'm like actually in shock right now. I'm she just got like, a- walking home because what else do you do? But I just texted my friends, being like, "Hi." Just got punched in the face. Maybe get your nose out phone. of your phone again. <laughs> <laughs> hope she gets punched again right yeah, now. I, that's what, the whole time I was thinking, I was like, if I was behind her, I'd be so fucking pissed off. Yeah, like, I, Get the fuck out of the way. 
Yeah. Sorry, she's got a shiner. I will say that this is plausible. I don't believe that she went and struck herself in order to no, get TikTok fame. Yeah, but she could have fucking just got it from anything right. else and then was like, ooh, I got an idea. You're you right. Know, it's all You're trash. very right. But right. she's supposed to believe women. So 50-50 that this bitch but is But do we lying. have to believe TikTokers? It's March still. I don't know. <laughs> sure, it is March still. <laughs> still March. Man. We got to kind of get the benefit of the doubt in Women's Month. Okay, go to the next, one. next one. Oh, she didn't get punched. Where'd she get punched? She got punched. In the teeth. Where'd she get punched at? In the nose. Go, sorry, it punches me. It gotcha. Holy <laughs> fuck. He punched her with makeup. She looked like she made up. That's it for that one. I don't buy that. I don't buy that. I'm sorry. Straight up lie. Yeah, that one's wild. It's a lie. Did that one come after the other one, Shannon? <laughs> I, I'd have to double check, but they all came out within five days of and each other. Is it other. the same guy? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's different same neighborhoods. Hilarious it's a serial man. puncher. Yeah. It's different neighborhoods because one said Times Times Square, one said West Sixteenth or something like that. They're different areas. Here's another one. That's not that reaction was not someone who just got punched. No, I'll not at all. Good. Uh, is that the same chick? It's a different one. Um, but if you know me, I don't. Um, I don't share my personal life on the internet, um, hmm. especially things that. Sure. And Frank. Um, but too many <laughs> shot. videos have been made. <laughs> it was a shot. <laughs> it wasn't bad. I liked it. Um, I was punched in the head uh, in New York City on Saturday, March 23rd. Yeah, that just um, happened. In Times Square. Um, I was walking out of the Times Square station. Being as uh, boring as I always and, am. I know, this um, is a, a hard story to listen to. Yeah. And punched me in the head. Um, thankfully, I, I'm not as hurt as the girls uh, that you've seen, the videos that you've that's seen. It. This was on forever. But that's okay. not for this How bad are women at telling stories? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting attacked in broad daylight is not and an interesting as far as you go. Go ahead. That the was last great. one. Okay, maybe this worked. Ain't that you guys, on. I was literally just walking. Oh, shit. Up, yeah. Oh, yeah. she got a knot. That's, that's a, a knot, knot bro. I can't even talk. Two out of four. I believe two out of four. Oh my god! <laughs> Why are they socking bitches in the head? That's stupid. I will say also this I'll... last girl is the only one that there is a police report. She's the That's only one that the went to the one cops. That I'm genuinely Yo, that was she wild. got she got That's socked and she got knot, kicked dude. in the did, head. Did she get punched by a cartoon in the eighties? It went <laughs> yeah. kick my horse. <laughs> There's a bird chirping around. Yeah, like, dude. <laughs> Now, I oh, believe damn. that one now. Oh, wow. No. I was Why are you doing that? And a man dropped an anvil on me? <laughs> Never have I ever had an inkling. She smiles his piano like keys. <laughs> yes, that's... All right, that's another bad. one. Let's this is see. the same girl. This is just pictures of the knot as it got bigger damn. later in the day. She, she, she recorded it. Yeah, she recorded it because then when she went back to the house, that's when she. Oh, she's cute, dude. She, dude, they punch her ugly. Look how hot <laughs> she is there. Look at the look at after she got punched, dude. Her whole, hey. her whole head's all fucking sideways, doggy. She looks like the movie White Chicks in that one. <laughs> go back to the, go back to the uh, this poor girl. <laughs> looks like Man. the movie White Chicks. Yeah, yeah she is. did. Yeah, that is. Yeah, the eyebrows crazy. She Not bad. Them things out. God damn. Not bad. So yeah, this is her. She went back to her house. We were, when you were. I don't like when people get hurt. I don't. Oh, she's like a that. podcaster too. We were supposed to record the podcast, but now you're icing your head with Trader Joe's ice uh, acai, acai pack. packs. Waiting for the police to come. Shout out to do? their sponsor. How <laughs> 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 I walk, say very aware of my surroundings. Yeah, I mean, look, you got to be careful. I, I, it does happen, by the way. The knockout game was a thing that happened. I was in Philly. It was, I remember when it started in Philly. But it was, I mean, everywhere, dude. That was happening. That's yeah, also yeah. like with the with people having cell phones now. And people filming things now, uh -huh. you're just catching it more often. That was happening in the 80s, 90s. Yeah, like, yeah, that's yeah. just people get fucking bored, dude. We would throw eggs at cars. Some kids would throw rocks at cars. And we'd, right? Yeah. So, you know, some people like it, it like, the, depends on the level of fucking <laughs> how fucked yeah, up yeah. of a household you were from was course, depending on what yeah. you would throw at cars. Some people would throw water balloons. Those were nice white kids. <laughs> they had good parents. Water They'd throw balloons. water. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point? You're washing their car. Yeah, get out Idiot. of here, dude. Uh, we would throw eggs. Some people throw we throw snowballs. Okay, and then you get the fucking kids who from broken homes who were throwing batteries and rocks. And rocks, fuck the car. We were, people would stop. We yeah. were from the country, and we would like uh, we we we'd be out in the woods, and we pull out these fucking 
giant like broken trees and shit and we blocked the road like in the middle of nowhere oh, wow. and then uh and then a lot of times they'd, they'd stop and we'd throw shit but a lot of times it was like three in the morning and people were so scared to get out of their car they just fucking fucked their car up by going through a fucking oh, no. dam we built in the middle of the road yes. <laughs> it's pretty fucked up then what was that scary what was the, the that's show hills have eyes shit yeah, yeah for it's sure like boardwalk empire that's like during prohibition how they used to rob the wagons for alcohol oh they just yeah yeah, yeah they block off the road uh yeah, I mean the 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 internet and cell phones. It's it, it feels like because it felt like racism was going away for a little while before, like YouTube and shit. Like it just kind of felt it felt a little bit kind of kumbaya. Like it felt like everyone was going like, you know what, we're pretty good. And then the internet came out and read it and YouTube comments and we're like, oh no, no no no, people are like deep down like fucking really racist and really hateful. racism is <laughs> yeah. alive and deep well down. in this country. America yeah. is in them, them like comments, deep man. Fucking yeah, yeah. down, dude. And um, I bet you if you read ten comments right now, one of them's gonna be racist. It's like, called the racist yeah. live chat. What are you chat? talking about? Oh, there you it's go. The gas is Every chat. time I go. come on the show, I risk going, "How? <laughs> what they gonna call me?" <laughs> but it'd be funny. Then I'll be at some place or at Skankfest, and they come up they shaking my hand, hugging yeah, me, yeah, and all yeah, this goofy shit. So I don't know. No. It, well, the thing is, <laughs> our audience, we've cultivated an audience who thinks fucked up humor is funny. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So there's nothing wrong. Ninety nine percent of the people are just trying to be funny, and then one percent of people are like, "Oh, cool." Like I'll get a real racist. One out of a thousand people come up to me. Like, yo, what's up, these black people, right? You're like, no, I was kidding. Yeah, Chill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's it, the... it does happen. But you know what? You got to fucking, even those people, they need some love, doggy. And you show them a little <laughs> bit of love, and then they're like, you know what? This Puerto Rican ain't that bad. Yeah.